Empowered Palette from Portland, Oregon, the woke capital of the fucking world. Here's a sticky note. Oh, God, this is going to make me throw up my mouth, won't it? Please refrain from discussing or pre preventing, prescribing. Is that a T? Discussing, presenting, oh, presenting. Oh, my God, here's a sticky note. Please, oh, Jesus Christ. Please refrain from discussing slash presenting BMI at this appointment presenting please do ask us how we keep our bodies and minds healthy in our family thank you so you're at the doctor and you don't want them taking your height or your weight please do ask us how we keep our bodies and minds healthy if you are obese you are not keeping your body nor your mind healthy period end of story thanks for playing though thanks for fucking Matt playing Damon. uh but i'll tell you what does that make sense? Does that make sense to anyone? No, it doesn't make sense to anyone, does it? Does it? And you know why it doesn't make sense? Because it doesn't fucking make sense. But you know what these people need? You can't just post something like this. This is not enough. You need to have a million fucking paragraphs. What the fuck is that? To explain that shit. Now, if you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sentence slash paragraphs, you do not understand what you're saying. Reposting this from the always and oh, you, that was a repost from Virgie fucking Tovar. I didn't know they stuck shit that high. That was from Tovar. That was from Virgie fucking Tovar. Jesus. I got hairy legs. What is wrong with you? Why would you repost anything from that cave troll? Empowered palette responds let's go fucking deep on this one right Man, come on drop some dookie in the comments are you ready for this drum roll fam let's fucking do it come on now come on now what's in the box all right empowered palette writes uh, did you know you can ask your doctor not to weigh you and or discuss your bmi if you're an idiot if you go to your doctor and you do not allow your doctor to weigh you you are a fucking idiot i'm not sorry to say that it's just a fact you are a moron you do not want to be healthy. Your doctor needs that information. There's a reason why your doctor gathers that fucking information. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you? Reposting this from the always inspiring Virgie Tovar. So you obviously understand that this account, this person that's reposting, it's one thing if you're Virgie Tovar, that's bad enough. If you are reposting Virgie Tovar, that's worse. If you're saying that Virgie Tovar is always inspiring, you are... <laughs> you are a retard. All right. She continues or it continues or they continue or who knows it continues it. Oh, let's call you it. Yes. You have that autonomy. You have that ability to advocate and protect yourself. You have that right to speak up for your own needs, even in, and especially in a healthcare setting. I stopped weighing myself years ago, but every time I would go to the doctor, I would dread that number and inevitably send myself into a panic and shame spiral after being weighed. Clueless. Great movie. It felt like I would go back weeks or months in my recovery process afterwards until finally the professional I was working with at the time told me, hey, you know, you don't have to go through this every time. You can ask not to be weighed. That never happened. I can almost guarantee that never happened. The professional you were working with at the time told you this. I doubt that happened. I call bullshit. Hey, you know, you don't have to go through this every time. You can ask not to be weighed. Bullshit. That person should get their license stricken from them. Um, Virgie continues. I haven't been weighed at the doctors since <laughs> because they don't have specialty scales. And I haven't regretted that choice for a single second. If there's ever a reason why it's medically necessary to be weighed, AKA a fucking doctor's appointment, you can ask for a blind weight, which means you turn around on the scale or that number is concealed for you in other ways. If you are so disconnected from your health that you can't handle, if you are so fragile, if you are so fucking delicate that you cannot see the number on the scale that explains to you how strongly the earth is pulling you into its core, you are not physically fit or mentally fit for this earth or for this life. I'm not saying you shouldn't be here. 
I'm not saying you should be eradicated. I'm not wishing anything bad to happen for you, uh, to you or for you. I really don't care. But you are not equipped to handle life. You're not equipped to handle life. If you can't handle looking at a fucking number, you're not, you're not actually an adult. You cannot handle being an adult. Um, she continues, or it continues. It is Virgie after all. You don't need to put yourself through that trauma because your health is not determined by that number anyways. No, it's just a side effect and it just explains um, with physics that you are not a healthy person. Have you ever asked not to be weighed at the doctors? How did that feel for you? Yeah, how did that diabetes feel? If you go to the doctor to get a doctor's opinion, you better do what the doctor fucking says. Seriously, if you go to a doctor and the doctor is supposed to actually do their job, let the doctor do their job. Let the doctor do his or her job. If you go to the doctor and the doctor wants to get your fucking weight, you better give the doctor your fucking weight. Otherwise, they can't do their job. Okay? Why are you at the doctor anyway, Virgie? I haven't been to the doctor in a hot minute. Why are you going to the doctor so often? Why is this such a concern? Yeah, you can go every year, but usually if you take care of yourself, you don't have to have as frequent visits. Why are you in the doctor so often? Maybe you should start taking care of yourself. Maybe that's a sign if you're spending a lot of time in the doctor so often that you actually have to request not to be weighed. 